just for you my garden and back to join the first emerging night of field please enter stay at and if you need last one go and check it out and in this week's edition we are going to be doing scuba diver crash in this week's edition So I will, I will tell y'all that, you know how I am doing with, um, my gumball reviews? For so, most of the time reviewing four episodes in one review. And sometimes, it just depends though. Sometimes it would be two, sometimes it would be three. Maybe one, some, but most of the time four. Well, I'm going to be doing the same thing when it comes to my Hey Arnold Phineas and Ferb and Cat Dog and any future reviews as well on future shows that I review will have more than just one episode in the review. Unless if it's a special, right? Like if it's a special, then yeah, it'll be it'll be one it'll be its own review, right? Reviewing the one episode. Unless if it's a two parter, but still, if it's a two parter then yeah, of course it will be in one review as well, because I will, I will review both parts in in the one review. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know. Not sure when it's going to be starting, or when I will be starting to do that. But I'm planning on when it comes to Phineas and Ferb at least. I'm planning at the start of season three is when I'm starting when I'm planning on doing that for Phineas and Ferb, doing that. When it comes to Phineas and Ferb. Cat Dog, I'm not too sure. Probably the next episode. The next episodes. And Hey Arnold. Maybe at the beginning of the next season. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all. Did y'all see the recent, um, thing that Disney, trailer that Disney released? I also wanted to tell y'all that, too. Yeah, I also, I also wanted to tell y'all, but let me, let me see if I can find what it's called. Lego Pixar Brick Tones. Which, it looks pretty cool, though. Again, you can find it on the official Pixar channel, but again, just really cool. Like, it's different Pixar Disney movies, but in Lego. And from the description, it says, which no assembly is required, all five episodes began streaming exclusively on Disney Plus on September 4th. And again, that trailer was or released yesterday. So September 4th is when that will be on Disney+. Plus. But I just find that really cool, though. A little mini-series. Mini-series on Disney+. Plus based on the different 
Pixar Disney movies, but they're made out of Lego. Or it's going to be in Lego. be a bit shorter than you would think. But just also because I'm running out of storage as well, so as of right now it says it will it would it can only go up to thirty two forty nine when it comes to the how long it would be able to film. So just to let y'all know, I'm gonna I am having to free up storage. So I will say though that the next the next one will definitely next Nitro Field edition will definitely be not as short as this one will be. Definitely not. I'll definitely say for sure. be as short as this one. I wanted to tell y'all that too. And yeah, y'all may have noticed that we have completed when it comes to my um the the recording parts release releasing, we have completed our done finished Jack and Dexter too. Was I I have been when it comes to the filming parts, I have been doing three. The third one, which is probably my favorite one. Definitely my favorite one so far. Again, those will be releasing before you know it. And I really do mean that, too. Before you, I really do mean that, uh, before you know it. I hit somebody off of the edge. Somebody got hit. Which I think I think it was Komodo Joe that got hit. I just heard somebody got hit. I really didn't say who it was. Yeah, Gamescom was Tuesday. This this Tuesday, two days ago. And of course, Kingdom Hearts was not sold there. Of course not. Because some people were speculating that it was, that Kingdom Hearts, like, some, some AI Mickey thing that was, that it can actually reply back to you. And talking about how, how IGN were talk, mentioning Kingdom Hearts and saying that they would see IGN real soon. And people thought that it was going to be meaning with Kingdom Hearts, but of course not. We really, again, we really don't have that many events in 2024 of seeing Kingdom Hearts, though.
Like, we need... Especially Missing Link nose, right? But I really want Kingdom Hearts 4 nose as well. Because, again, it's been more than over two years. Or, it has been two years since the, the reveal trailer. The announcement of Kingdom Hearts, t Kingdom Hearts 4. So, we really do need something new for Kingdom Hearts 4 as well. But we also need the official release date for Missing Link. Because the website, or one of the sites, still says the re the, registri the registering, you know, for the game's full release information will be, is coming soon. It still says that. And that was, and that was, that first said back in May, I'm pretty sure. I think that was, I think they first put that back in May. The information, more information on the re-registrating, registering, registering for Missing Link coming soon. That was like back in May. And it's, and again, we're almost, we're about at the end of August now. We're close to the end of August now. And yet, there's been nothing. And also, when it comes to All Star Brawl 2, some people are actually thinking that Iral, or you know, the current DLC character on All Star Brawl 2, is the last character that will be in the game. Because there's no other characters that are in that are data mined for All Star Brawl 2. So he could be the last character to be added. Uncle's or Zuko's uncle. He may be the last character in All Star Brawl 2. It's not confirmed any or anything. At least not that I have seen. People are just just because people have seen that, yeah, there's no, there's no new data mines after this character that shows any other characters that will be coming out. Like, if there will be more after. That was pretty good how I didn't, I actually didn't hit anything back there. Yeah, I remember when Nitro Field first came out and I was, I was playing with the analog stick. Because, you know, normally I play with the analog stick. But I just find it a bit better to do with the D-pads, Nitro Field.
Yeah, I just find it a bit easier mm -hmm. with the day pads. Maybe that's just tomato. Especially when doing the developer time trials, especially, I felt like, yeah. That, yeah, I had to switch over to the D-pads. I had to switch over to the D-pad. Or, at least using the D-pad definitely helped a lot when doing the developer time trials. Especially when it comes to U-turning as well. I just found it a bit more easier to do when it came to U-turning. I'd like to know though, how do y'all play the game? Like Nitro Field, for example, for this case. Like, do y'all use the analog stick or do y'all use the D-pad like me? Or start out using the analog stick but got more comfortable, easier to do the D-pads. But again, everybody's going to have their own different, their own different way though. Like I said, I started using the analog stick when it came to Nitro Field's release back in 2019. I used the, the analog stick, but I found it a bit more easier the more I did with, um, the more I was doing with the D-pads, the more easier it, it just felt. And like I, like I mentioned though, like I mentioned, most games I don't play with the D-pad, you know, that you can use the D-pad with. Most of the time I don't use the D-pad, I use the analog stick. I use the analog stick for it. Again, even without all the crates, you can still get platinum. At least, most of the time, though. Right, it just depends, though. <sighs> Inside Out 2 is now available on digital. Which is not... On other site, streaming sites as well. Which I'm pretty sure that's what digital would actually mean. I'm pretty sure that's what digital means. I'm not sure. But, yeah, it's on several sites now. Or, service, streaming services. Like, for example, Apple TV... Google Play Movies and TV, and Fan Diego at home. I'm not sure when it's gonna be going to Disney Plus. No, maybe next month. I mean, it does come to DVD and Blu-ray next month. Inside Out 2 is coming to Blu-ray 
next month in September. So, maybe in September. I mean, it could be in October as well. Or November. Probably close to sometime, close to the end of the year. That's, that's my guess. But you know I'm definitely going to want to get it when it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray. You know I'm definitely going to be getting it there. Because that's definitely a movie that you definitely need to own. Because again, it's, it's one of the most... Amazing. Especially of when you just say of how well it does, though. How well the movie has done. It just shows you. And yeah, like if you watch the movie as well. Which, again, it's just one of, it's one of my all-time favorite movies. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. I put it up there with the Simpsons movie, the Spongebob movie, you know, the first Spongebob movie. I put it up there of those. If I had to do my top three, my, my top three absolute favorite all-time movies, the Simpsons movie, Inside Out 2, and the Spongebob movie will definitely be up there. If I, had to, if I had to name my top three of them. And if I had to add another one, it would be the second Winnie the Pooh movie. And of course, I would put the first Lego movie. Doing some other movies, like the first Lego movie. I mean, like I said, I didn't... I don't hate the second Lego movie. It's just not my personal favorite. I thought it was fine for what it was. I thought it was fine for what it was, to be honest. I mean, obviously I love the first one better. The first Lego movie, I like better. But, the second one wasn't all that bad. Obviously, the first Space Jam. The first Space Jam with Michael Jordan. Um. The Left Behind movies. All of the Left Behind movies, except for, um, The Next Generation. I just found that one to be the waker one of the Left Behind movies. I don't know why, I just... When I watched the Next Generation Left Behind movie, I mean, it was... It was fine for what it was, though. It just felt definitely a bit more different compared to the other movies in the series. I understand what they're doing, though, but, again, it just... Left Behind the movie, you know, the first, the 2000, the original Left Behind. It is... I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to re-download my calendar. So, re-download my calendar app so I can actually see. So I can actually see how many years that was. The Simpsons movie was 17 years. It would be this year. I'm pretty sure it would be or is. I gotta say what month. can't remember what month the Simpsons movie came out that year. Let me see. 
I know it's 2007. Okay, July. So yeah, it's been 17 years since the Simpsons movie came out. Because it was July, July 27th, 2007. Okay, so... If I look... Go all, scroll all the way to 2000... Yeah, scroll all the way to 2000. Three years before I was born. Three years before I was born. Because that was 2003. So... The original Left Behind, or the movie Left Behind, came out three years before I was born. So let me just look. One, two, three. At least 24 years old <laughs> that the original Left Behind movie came out. Because it said it, it was February. February of 2000 is when it came out. Again, three years, three years older than me. Or it came out three years before me. Second Left Behind, the original, or the second original Left Behind movie, Tribulation Force, came out in 2000, or August 31st, 2004. So I was still a year old when, when that movie came out. That, that would have been the year I would have been Toto. That would have been the year I would have been Toto. So. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It would have been 22 years old. Not quite, though, because, again, it's not August 31st, but August 31st would be 22 years old. The second original Left Behind movie, The Tribulation Force. Which, that was a good one, too. 
And I think they really nailed the the creepiness. The creepiness of the Antichrist as well. They really nailed the creepiness of the Antichrist as well. Because that's where it was revealed. You know, because that was after the rapture happened. And where the identity was revealed on the movie. And I would go to the third one, but... Well, I may have time. Let's see. If I hurry. Two thousand five was when two thousand five of October twenty first was when World at War came out. The third one. The last of the original ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It would be 19 years this year. Again, not quite, because it said October. So, but again, it would be 19 years this year. Since the tribulation, or since the World at War one. But yeah, that'll conclude this edition. If you like and subscribe to my channel, make sure you want to click on some means same thing new. And like I said though, I do apologize that this one was a bit shorter, but I will tell y'all that the next um Nitrofield edition will definitely be a bit longer than this one though. Was I can definitely say that for sure. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you like, and subscribe to your channel. Make sure everyone in case you don't miss anything new. I'd like to know what you all think. Catch the next one.